this looks like a nice beach or, or, or something of that effect, you know, or, you know, the most beautiful, pristine waterway ever. It's not. It's a drainage ditch. This is not nature. But that doesn't mean that you people that are inner city can't enjoy the water and can't enjoy your resources. What'd you find? Apple snails. So, it's not always out in the parks, out in the woods. Uh, nature's everywhere. I'm right by a main road. I'm behind a barber shop in the middle of town. There's what you would think driving by is a dirty creek. But if you look, it's crystal clear. There's beer bottles, there's everything in it, but it's crystal clear. And because of that, there's fish there, there's fish there, there's fish there. Look, there's Jessica over there, check it out on the bridge while cars are going by. And this is, I promise you, a very urban area. We are not anywhere near nature. But we're going to dip some, some nets in here. We're going to actually get in there. We're going to throw a cast net down there. We're going we're to try our new underwater camera out too and let you see those. But yeah, yeah we're, we're right in the middle of town. There's, there's, this isn't nature. This is inner city. There's just a creek that passes through the city. And we have resources everywhere. Don't be scared to get down in the water. Don't be scared to get down in your resources. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Or if they would fish here. Or if they think the water's dirty. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of fish down there. I see bass, bluegill. I see black acaras. I see Florida spotted gar. I see, um, I just saw a little mud turtle. We saw a couple of channel cats. We saw a hoplo catfish over there. Uh, and those are just the big ones that we can see from the surface. Next to a barber shop. That's the air compressor kicking on. Right there. So, yeah, get out and do it, man. We're gonna get in this water black car so just grab the camera so that I can try to cast it down there hey guess what we didn't see down here we didn't see plecos there they are uh, get out of that rock get out of that rock there are you think you know that there's a lot of fish down there until you throw your net and then it shows you exactly how many fish there are down there. I don't know that I got any, but I saw a bunch. I don't see any in the net, but like I said, that water is crystal clear. Oh, I got a little bluegill. Little bluegill. He, he's going to take the express route back to his home. Go little guy. Shoo. Man, he, if he was a, an Olympic diver, he would have done wonderful because there was no splash or nothing. He went head first. There's some plastic. We're going to keep that out. A lot of them went under that. I think it's hydrilla. Is that, is it hydrilla, Jess? That, yeah. We call it hydrilla. I'm not, not sure if it's hydrilla, but there's some awesome black cars right there. I'll see if I can throw it that far and get them around the rock. That's a big black acara. Black acaras get to about eight inches. I 
figure if I throw it further out, up here we got to throw them far because they're seeing us from the bank. Our shadows are casting over the water, so they're seeing any kind of activity that happens. It's probably not the best place to get in. I think if I walk over there, I can walk right. Ooh. Florida man down, Florida man down. Man, as, as this goes on, y'all gonna get to see exactly how often I fall. It's way more often than anybody knows about, but now that I'm filming everything, you're gonna actually see how often I fall. I mean, I'm getting gambouges. I got a couple of mollies, but we're gonna get out of this and get more in the, in the trailhead there. We're gonna be getting some trash out of here while we're in here because honestly, probably nobody ever comes down here. So while we're down here, we're gonna be getting some of the trash out. Always leave things better than you found them. This stuff is like wildfire too. When you plant this in your tank, it grows like crazy. The only thing we caught is a Corona bottle. But the, the problem with inner city, man, is just everybody's just real careless with their trash. So it all ends up in the water. <laughs> Help, I'm being attacked by duckweed. I don't want you to go. Man, I need to get on my clothes. Three months later, I have a bad duckweed outbreak in, my, in all, every tank I have in my house. By the way, I'm having to do this in my Crocs because my water shoes was in the back of my truck and last time Aquafunk went out with us, he took one of my shoes. He didn't take both of them. He took one of mine and left me one of his and he got little baby feet. I can't fit in those things. I'm getting nothing. I think I'm gonna go down to where I got it in and go up and go on the other side of the bridge. We got more hiding spots over there where we can hide from the fish. And understand we're not catching because there's no fish here. We're not catching because we're, we suck at catching these fish. And by we, I mean me. Je Jess doing a great job. Last time when we, were, when we caught fish up through here, the only place we could really get them was over here behind this dumpster. And it's because of, you're close to the to the water and you can do it from above but it might be bad time during the day because our shadow is casting over the water and that makes a huge difference see him right there i see him i'm gonna go down here and try to kind of just yeah they're big black cars and we love our black cars got him that is a nice size, big black car. Huh? That was big. Uh, nice. That's an aquarium fish. That's an aquarium cichlid. Okay. Invasive. But yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, that's a good one. He's got nice blues in them. And they're all in this area. Hey, you have a good one, man. People come up and talk to you, man. You just talk to them. They're, they're interested in what you're doing. They think it's cool. You know why? You know why, why they think it's cool? Because it is cool. So this was a place that we went to right after. This is a, a drainage ditch. I mean, it looks like a landscape. It looks like something that you would see in a movie or a television show or a documentary. But it's just a ditch. We don't really have a lot of audio for this because the wind was blowing so hard. All the audio really got blown out. I left some of it in a few of these clips. It's literally a man-made dugout spot to collect water running off of people's yards 
that then goes into our sewer system. The creek that we were in earlier, where we caught the black caras, the, the mollies, and things like that, feeds this pond first. We're only two blocks away. And it goes here, it goes through this tunnel, and then through this tunnel, it goes back. And the reason this tunnel looks so dark is it goes back and drops into our sewer system. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the underwater footage. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. You would never know that it looks like this underwater. You would think that it was gross and trash. Don't get me wrong. There's, it's inner city. There's plenty of trash. And it stinks that there's that much trash. But look how pretty. Look at it. It's beautiful. I would drink it. I wouldn't eat any, any fish out of here. But it's created its own ecosystem. The snails, the fish, the plants. Everything is a cycle, just like your aquarium. And realistically, this is just a big aquarium. When you look at the pleco that's in there, there's quite a few big plecos in there. They're doing the same thing in this thing that they're doing in your tank. The snails, they're doing the same thing in this ditch that they do in your tank. There's also mussels in here, trumpet snails, ram's horn snails, big apple snails, which we brought two of them home, and they laid eggs immediately in our bucket. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's just that it's so pretty. And you have your hydrilla running. You have the, the green hair algae, all the leaf litter, acorns, oak leaves, all, all that creates uh, a, a cycle and sustains life. And it's in that that lets us collect and here you see a black acara swimming up on us, which is invasive. But we don't have to worry about putting them back if we don't catch them. So there's that. And then you see some mosquito fish, which in Florida, mosquito fish or gambusias are put in every waterway to help control mosquito populations. It was too, the hydrilla was too thick. To throw the cast nets because as soon as the cast nets go to, to twig under it grabs all of the hydrilla lets all the fish out and becomes extremely heavy possibly causing damage to the the nets there's a false bottom over on one side of it where the water first comes in and a false bottom is like a layer of soot mud and as soon as you step on it you instantly sink about a foot in mud as soon as that happens, you've entered into a territory of all kinds of microorganisms that are helping keep this cycle. But lots of snails and leeches. Yeah, we're not telling you to go jump in your local waterway. We're not saying, hey, look. There's, there's there's a garbage hole over there. You should go jump in it. You should definitely check it out. You should check it out in small increments. You should do your due diligence to make sure that you and your family are safe before you drop them in a sewer. Just so you guys know, Jack never got in the water. Jess barely got in the water. And I'm the dummy. I went in up to my knees in one spot and then went up to my waist in another spot, which you're going to see here in a minute. And and other than looking at things, the juice wasn't necessarily worth the squeeze. We didn't really catch a whole lot in this area. Uh, a couple of apple snails. We saw a lot of cichlids. We saw some jeweled cichlids. We saw some black cars. We saw some uh, Mayan cichlids, mollies, gambusia, and plecos. We didn't really try real hard to catch them as much as we were trying to get video of them under the water. I thought that's what this place would be best for. And as you can see from some of the footage, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's got the, the hazy blues. It looks like a crystal clear, beautiful body of water until you come up and you see that, that you're in a neighborhood and you see the industrial complex beside it and you realize you're in a ditch. All right, well, let's go find another spot. Let's move to the next spot. Dog park, four blocks away. 
not even a half mile from where we were. And this is, uh, oh, I may not be able to get down there right now. Let's see if we can go down here and see. I see a lot of movement, but that doesn't mean it's stuff we can catch. Let's go down here and see. Uh huh. Come on, come on. You got it. I'm not doing this. It's all right. Now we just have to. Uh, yeah, there's. I see a lot up there. Usually this is a little bit deeper. Oh, that feels good. Oh yeah, I'll take that. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. It's gross. I'll just wash it. There. It's trash okay. sitting inside it. Mm. Here, just walk down the middle. It's fine. Yeah, don't walk on those because much, much like me. In the water? There's no leeches in this water. True, leeches don't mm. sit in step and only in stagnant water, not moving. Look at look, 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 look. really fat gambusia. Or one really fat gambusia. Oh my goodness, it is. He chunky. I'll go back. Let, let him go. The smallest of crayfish. No, look at it. Do, do, do. It's tiny. It's, it's, look, it's, he's flicking his little tail. He's so mad. It's the same size as my finger now. Oh my goodness. And then a, a bunch of little scuds in here. See the little, that's, those are scuds. See it? Oh yes. There's little things moving. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Another little fish. What do we got there? What do we got there? That, that is a molly. Ooh. That is. That's my a, favorite fish. A sailfin molly. I just got a mosquito. How pretty. Wireless and, mic disconnected. And a, okay. and a big. These gambusias are weird, man. They're, they're, they're pregnant. They're really, really pregnant. They are, are big pregnant. Them? Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. Look you at want that. To hold it? Look at that girl. She is about to pop. Man. We didn't bring the bucket with us because we hadn't fished here. Don't stand on that stuff. There's glass under there. A little bitty Molly. Look. A little itty bitty baby Molly? Yeah. I'm coming. Little, Just takes me a little bit to get to you. A little bitty Molly. I'm still a little worried about water. Look up! Look at that little baby. Little baby. Oh, he makes me feel good. Oh, oh, oh! There's a little hole. Oh, got him. What'd you get? I got a sword tail. Ooh. A male sword tail. Now these are the ones that I, I said that you have to have the. Uh... Oh, I got a bunch of sword tails. Okay, so we're gonna keep this one. Look at, oh, that's a nice male sword tail right there. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty, pretty. And then there's a baby male sword tail. Oh, that they will yeet themselves out of everything. We always lose something and they'll yeet. Right out they go. Oh, what's that? Ooh, something sharp in there. It sounds clanky. Mm -hmm. Shells or no, glass. There's some land up there. If you would like to go there, there's some land. It's some kind of cichlid. But... Wait, what? Oh, it's a jewel cichlid. <gasps> what? It's a really pretty jewel cichlid. Wow. And you can see the that. little faceting the jewels. That was, that was a good dip, Good man. hit. It was all in that little honey hole right there. That, uh, every bit of it was in there. Oh, there's more. There's like 10 uh, of the uh, sword tails in there. 
Oh, wow. There's, that is a really pretty jewel cichlid. Mm -hmm. And I lost a couple of the, uh, sword tails. the sword tails. There's the two. And there's, there's a really pretty. They make really good aquarium fish if you have a nice tight fitting lid. Um, and as long as you never, these are all males. I, I don't see any females. Yeah, We're right. going to let all these go though because we catch them a lot. And the bucket's too far away and I don't want to keep them out of the water too long. Let's, let's just do that, that spot one more time. What do you say? Let's see if we get anything else. There goes your four wheeler. It hit something. We are, uh, again, we're inner city uh, collecting. There's, there's a bridge, there's traffic. There's, a there's an 11 year old, there's four wheelers. There's, look, more sword tails. Sword tails and mollies. Oh, look at them flipping. Yep. All the flippies. We got a new sword tail. And it was at this moment that they knew that they'd messed up. Our spot. Huh? Our spot. Our spot, like everybody's spot. Yep, you're right. We, we literally just got turf award by a couple of 11 year olds. Yeah, dude, how old can you be? Like 12? Oh, yeah. Uh, you just have to do it. So, yeah, guys, we totally just got turf forward by a couple 11 year olds trying to push us out, telling us that we were in their spot. <laughs> but they made like a little basket. Like, they got like fishing lines. Like, they have a plan. They were doing something. Like, those boys have a plan. I'm kind of curious as to what the heck's going on now. Oof. Who are those kids? What do they have planned? Mom's walking back. Interesting fishing. This is a park in our area. Hey, look, these are all molly. I'm ready to go back up. Except for that one that just bounced all the way across the net. That one is a sword tail. <laughs> or, or what Jack calls the yeet fish. Yeet! Yeeter fish. So here we are. We're, we're, we're down in a park. Inner city park. In the middle of a neighborhood. And we're dipping that in, in, in a creek that runs through it. It's been fun. We did run into a couple of things where we thought somebody was messing with our truck and had to run over. But it's what it is. We have a great time, man. We caught a lot of fish. We caught those big black cars over the other spot. We caught a bunch of leeches in the mud puddle. And uh, over here we caught green sword tails, mollies. We caught that really pretty faceted jewel cichlid. And there's always gambusia. So. Here we are again, totally different aspect. We're not in a park, we're not out in the woods, we're not out in the river. We are in neighborhoods and in inner city and downtown. Be in Florida, man. Come out, use them, they're all around you. No excuses, get the kids out, get them off of YouTube, get in the water, be a Florida man.